All right. So this next topic, this 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 means a lot to me. <laughs> I can't wait. And I'm happy Shake decided to bring this to the table backstage as far as the topic because I feel like he's been wrong in two organiza- organizations. <sighs> And yes, Havoc, we're going to be talking about Josh Rosen. Obviously, I can't wait. Drafted, drafted in 2018 by the Arizona Cardinals, 10th mm-hmm. pick overall. Mm-hmm. Ended up being traded to the Miami Dolphins in the, during the 2019 draft because the Arizona Cardinals decided to go in a different direction as far as general manager and head coach, and they decided to go ahead and draft Kyler Murray first overall. Didn't exactly have a good – season with the Miami Dolphins due to supporting cast. Um, well, I think that as, decision has been proven to work. As Boy, far, you, you lucky this is no passes given because you out here giving out all the passes so far. As as far as Josh Rosen, as far as his career so far, has 16 career starts, 2,845 yards, 12 touchdowns, and has 19 interceptions. Now, I it gets signed by the – San Francisco 49ers, with, which currently for the 49ers, I feel like this is a very, very interesting situation considering the fact that Jimmy Garoppolo, just, ugh, Jimmy Garoppolo's contract is very, very team-friendly, so they can cut bait with him after this 2020 season. And also with the injuries to the quarterback position for the, excuse me, for the San Francisco 49ers, um, I, I feel like – Josh Rowland could get an opportunity to succeed with the 49ers. Yeah, man. I mean, I have no reason to hate on Josh Rosen any longer. He is no longer the Miami Dolphins problem. But what I will say is this. Outside of drug addiction, how many top 10 picks have gone, have been on four teams in their first two years? I think that's a list Josh Rosen inhabits by himself. What do I expect from Josh Rosen with the 49ers? Look, and I've said this before, when he the Dolphins cut him and he's on he went to the practice guy for the for the for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The life of a of a third string NFL quarterback is not a bad life. That's a great life to live. And that is, quite frankly, Josh Rosen's future. Now, if you honestly believe that the San Francisco 49ers, <laughs> after killing Jimmy Garoppolo, after after he was just in the Super Bowl, are going to settle for Josh Rosen. That ain't going to happen. He, he, he struggled, Havoc. He struggled. And Nick Mullins, he's got an elbow injury. So these last couple of games, it may end up coming down to a tryout. What we have in Josh Rosen, what we have in uh, Nick I, Mullins, excuse me, not Nick Mullins, uh, C.J. Beathard. Mm-hmm. So I, I understand that, and look, he's gonna get a look. But all I know is, it it it, it appears that when when teams get a look at Josh Rosen, they 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 at a lot of times they look elsewhere. So that's just that's just the facts. That's not me hating. That's just the facts. That sounds like a hater to me. Well, it's 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 very inconvenient when hating the facts line up, isn't it? <laughs> Shake. <laughs> All right. First thing first, I have uh, I, uh, I've been on uh, a few streams before, and I have never, you will never ever hear see footage of me saying uh, I hated Josh Rosen. I, I didn't. I still believed in Josh Rosen. I didn't want Josh Rosen on the team, but unfortunately, some people that uh, knew a little bit more than me thought otherwise but here's the thing um it's all about uh taking advantage of his skill sets and i i think if there's one coach that could take advantage of his skill sets is sean mcbeth not sean mcbeth um the other shanahan Shanahan, kyle shanahan i think one of the things that kyle shanahan is going to do is not necessarily put it all on um, his plate. He's gonna. There's gonna be a lot of boot, bootleg yeah, yeah, yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, because he has a he he, he has a, a knack for uh, uh, good running backs. So he's not gonna just like with Tannehill and the Titans. Um, 
the coach there took uh, advantage of uh, Ryan Tannehill's strengths, you know, so, and, 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 and made Ryan Tannehill um, have a new life. And I think that's what's going to happen. Could poss- I'm not saying it is, it's going to happen. You never know. That's why we play the games. But um, I, I'm hoping that Josh Rosen does well here because I think that um, – I hope and he hoping he learns too that he has to humble himself and not be this uh, arrogant entitled guy. Not in Miami, but he how he was in Arizona. I think he humbled up. You know, he humbled a little bit after that. Uh, the Dolphins released, and I hope that he succeeds. I did want to mention he's going home to California. Yeah, that is true. Look, man, and this, I think his his most apt NFL comparison for Josh Rosen actually is Jared Goff. Like, when I look at both of them, very similar profiles. Neither, you know, not particularly athletic. They're classic pocket passers. Uh, I mean, the, the, they, they, they're both kind of are fit, though. I guess what would be considered the old profile of an NFL quarterback. Um not necessarily the, the the new modern profile of NFL quarterback, but look, man, fourth team in two years, bro. You you got you got to land somewhere. You got to land somewhere. You know you gotta you gotta spend more than a year somewhere. And even if they you know San Francisco they bring back Jimmy G for a year, and they keep Rosen as you know a guy that come to bring in the training camp and compete. That's all. That's all he can ask for at this point, because all that first out, all that top ten privilege is gone. Like he's got to earn anything he gets in the league now. He got to earn that, because mm-hmm. he's not going to get that 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 wink and that nod anymore. Like it, the, the 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 shine is worn off. You got to comp- you got to compete for a job like everybody else now. So whether he can do it or not, we'll see. We'll see. Yep. Banks, what you got about this threat coming to the NFC South? Excuse me, uh, West. I don't know what threat you're talking about, but uh, <laughs> you already know how I feel about Josh Rosen, man. Um, I never agree with him being the first pick. Um, anyway, I don't think he was that good of a quarterback. The guy had one good year in UCLA, and everybody went nuts, and we see what happened after that. Uh, like, like have it brings up a good point. Uh, it's, it's a reason why he's been on four different teams. That's just what it is. He's he's considered a journeyman now. Can I ask a question? That's fair. Thanks. Mm-hmm. After Jared Goff's first year with the Rams, right? Right. Were you satisfied with his play? No, of course not. How would I? Why would I be satisfied with the way that he played his rookie year? Like, are you serious? <laughs> would you want to cut? Would you want to cut him after that year? No, I wouldn't. But why? Because there's talent there. Even with okay. me being critical as Jared Goff, there's clear talent there. I don't think Josh Rosen is talented. I just don't think – I don't think he's good. <laughs> I just feel like this is just another guy that everybody like, – that you primarily, because ain't nobody else in the NFL talking about this guy. Like, there's nobody else talking about him. That's just what it is. This was a shake topic, so I didn't even put this in the inbox. <laughs> well, I mean, that's – I mean, I'm not going to throw it on Shake because I know Shake has uh, – he's, he's, a, he's a fairly reasonable guy. But I know you love Josh Rosen. Fairly I, reasonable. Oh, he's absolutely reasonable. But I know your ass. So I don't you. know. When, when two in ends up coming into the picture, I don't think he's very reasonable. This yeah, one. that's – no, that's not true at all. If there are, t- if there are, if, 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 if there are two names that no longer need to be in the same sentence – it's Tua and Josh Rosen, and that is something that is I firmly agree. established now. I agree. <laughs> uh, I can't wait for this Tua talk, though. But and you know what? And, and Shake broke it down. Real talk. Oh, no, I think Banks broke it down real talk. Josh Rosen is a journeyman quarterback. He's, journeyman. he's got he's to take what the NFL gives him now. It's, yep. too, it's too early to tell at this point. Bro, if you've been on four teams in two years, that's a hell of a journey you've been on so far. Right. Just like, saying. Like if he like honestly, if Josh Rosen makes it in the league, he gonna play on close to eight to nine teams probably. Is it Let's be real? Bro. He's gonna end up getting the starting job for the Niners. He is not. If the Forty Niners A would be on. They will burn down that stadium if oh, Josh Rosen is their starting quarterback. Uh, 
think they're going against me again, chat. Like, what is going on? I, <laughs> hey, hey, check this out. Look, they this will out. burn that, that stadium. Feet on the table. Feet on the table. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Feet on the table. Look, man. Listen, don't let the Jets get your ass yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> my feet on the table about this. Now I'm clipping this too. How Go about watch. you run back there and play that piano for us for a second? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all not ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> play like, us a sad song. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's only for decoration that being said <laughs> the life of a journeyman quarterback is about as good a life as you could possibly live the life of Josh Rosen you meant to say <laughs> <laughs> I mean what you get paid to practice basically right what, what's, what's wrong with that right mm-hmm. Cause you know, you're not gonna do nothing else, bro. I know that you're happy, you're excited. Josh Rosen's back in the league. He only has two games left to be thrilled about. Whoop de damn do. <laughs> and he's out of here after that. No more. All right. No more Josh Rosen. He we, probably won't be on a roster next year. When we have this conversation next year about the San Francisco 49ers being the NFC West champions, Josh Rosen is the quarterback. I don't oh, want to but- hear. This is ridiculous. I cannot believe this. And by the way, um, by the way, Bank, um, not Banks, uh, great one. Uh, the Arizona Cardinals can't be the NFC West champions anymore. So it's all good as long as the Rams ain't the champions. I'm good, man. That's yeah, okay. You'll see. We're gonna beat Seattle this week, though. We'll, we'll be. We'll finish it with Seattle. That's some oh, tough talk that's after losing to the Jets. Uh, that's, my hey, man. Listen, yeah, he man, talking listen. tough right now, ain't he? He talking that's real tough. That's some tough talk after losing to the yeah, Jets, yeah. man. Y'all, y'all you, was... you two just, you two just buckle your seatbelts on. This is gonna get this. Jared Goff is gonna go on a tear. Oh, if, if we're talking about Jared Goff, I should, I should buckle my seatbelt in because it's about to be real bumpy. You, you don't even believe. You, 